welcome to chapter three, navigating within the ZBrush core. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can move, zoom 3D, and rotate within the ZBrush core document. Let's begin by looking at the buttons along the right side here. We're going to focus on these four buttons found here. Our frame, move, zoom 3D, and rotate. Let's start with the move. Using a Wacom pen, I'm just going to tap on the move button and move my hand around my tablet or Cintiq and you can see this will move our dog throughout the document. Now to zoom, I'm just going to tap on that zoom and move up and down and you can see we can zoom in or out. Below that we have our rotate, so we're just going to click and move our hand freely anywhere and you can see that will rotate our dog. Above these three buttons we have our frame button. So we can either click on this button or we can use the shortcut F. So I'm just going to tap on the frame button and you can see this is framing the dog to fit within the ZBrush core document. So if we were to say zoom way out like this and now I want to reframe that dog I can again click that button, or in this case, I'm just going to tap the F key on the keyboard, and you can see that'll frame our dog within the ZBrush Core document. We can also access our navigation buttons in the Quick Menu. So to launch the Quick Menu, we're holding the space bar, and along the bottom, you can see Rotate, Move, and Zoom 3D here. Now, another way to navigate within the ZBrush core is using our right click navigation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the right click button. If you're using a Wacom pen, you're going to make sure your pen is hovering above the tablet or the Cintiq. Again, I'm holding the right click and I'm going to begin to move my hand around and you can see this will rotate. Now once again, the pen is never touching my tablet or Cintiq. Now what's great about rotation is you can also tap the shift key to snap to any orthographic view. So for example, if I begin to rotate and I tap the shift key, you can see it switches to the side orthographic view of the dog. If I begin to rotate towards the top and then tap the shift key, you can see it's now looking directly down at the dog. So now hold the Alt key and your right click and you can see this will move the dog throughout the document. Now remember, the pen is never touching the tablet or Cintiq if you are using Wacom product. Now I need to be able to zoom in and out. So I'm going to hold my Control key, my right click button, and move my hand up and down. You can see that will zoom. The benefit now of the right click is wherever your cursor lands, you'll be able to zoom directly into that location or rotate around that location. So for example, my cursor sitting over the eye, if I hold that control key, right click, and begin to just move my hand up and down, you can see I zoom right into the eye. And if I want to now say zoom into the back hip, I move my cursor over here and begin that zoom. This also will work with any rotation. So if I move my cursor to the back paw and now just hold the right click and while my pen is again hovering over the tablet or Cintiq, I can rotate the dog. But maybe I want to now rotate around the nose. So I move my cursor over to the nose, hold my right click and begin to move around. And that's the basics of using the ZBrush Core navigation system. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in Chapter 4, The Basics of the 3D Brushes of the ZBrush Core.